for everyone. It's a great pleasure for me to attend this conference. I'm Xu Haoli. The title of my report is Unsupervised Load Disaggregation Approach Based on Graph Signal Processing, Featuring Power Sequences. First, background. Load monitoring, as one of the most popular demand side management applications, can be carried out in both intrusive and non intrusive means. As shown in this figure, intrusive load monitoring relies on separated meters installed in plug ends to measure the power consumed by each load. On the contrary, non intrusive load monitoring is a technique to disaggregate power consumed by each appliance and identify their operational state by analyzing the aggregate power readings from pure software tools. By offering fine-grid electricity consuming feedback, including the categories, operational power readings, and usage habits of major appliance, new enriched smart meters, smart metering benefits, and sports demand side management. According to the sampling rates of power readings to be disaggregated, new tasks can be labeled as high rate about 1 Hz, usually in kHz and millihertz, and low rate from 60 Hz to 1 Hz. Although more knowledge can be acquired from high rate measurement, the data calculation is unavailable by commercial meters deployed worldwide for bidding purpose. Therefore, Facebook solutions to new problem on low rate measurements capture more attention recently. Low rate new approaches can be supervised or unsupervised, depending on whether such metering data is required for training. Current low rate new solutions are based on hidden micro model and its variants, random forest, deep learning and graph signal processing, and etc. Now, like such model based algorithms, GSP is an emerging signal processing tool, representing the st stochastic properties of signal van graphs. To perform GSP-based new in a supervised manner, GSP concepts are utilized multiple times in adaptive threshold selection, signal clustering, and the pattern matching in reference one. However, this method features power changes, limiting its robustness. Firstly, it is proposed only for disaggregated the load with magnitude wise close and matchable power changes when being switched on and off. Secondly, transit lasting longer than the same volume period may be segmented into multiple consecutive power changes, resting in mismatching. Instead of widely featured power changes events, steady state sequence are segmented from the aggregate and featured by an unsupervised GSP-based new method in reference to, since the segmented sequence may be different in length, dynamic time warping is utilized to, to calculate, calculate similarity in graph age writing. However, its performance is sensitive to simultaneous load operation and measurement noises. Driven by the affirmation shortcomings of current works, an unsupervised GSP-based NUM approach is proposed in this paper, featuring power sequences from aggregated, different from the steady state sequences segmented in reference to. Steady transition sequences is defined in this paper, consists of reading and folding power sequences. Our main contributions include, first, a state transition sequence extraction method is proposed for segmenting inform informative STS features. Second, an unsupervised GSP-based new approach is proposed, where the similarity calculation for STS is based on DTW. Third, the proposed method is validated on OpenAssess, AMPDS, and Reference datasets, benchmarked with start-of-the-art GSP-based new approach using different features. Second, methodology. The proposed STS extraction algorithm is presented in algorithm 1. In line 1, given an aggregate power signal P, which length is n, T0 and T1 are heuristical parameters to constrain the sequence length, with a threshold T for 
mitigating small power changes not due to load state transition. After initialization in line 2, each power variation simple with delta pi bigger than t and its previous neighbors assigned to a sequence E based on the adaptive rules as in line 5 to 13. Otherwise, if a power variation simple with delta pi smaller than t is near the store, store the sudden power change events in sequence E, that is, their period is shorter than t1, it will be merged into E, as shown in line 14 to 17. In line 18, standardization is carried out on E by subtracting its minimum entry from its entry therein. Based on whether the ending entry in E is greater than its mean, sequence E can be labeled as reading and folding STS. Thus, its reading STS is grouped into a set epsilon R, while its reading ones is stored in epsilon F. With E reset to empty after repeating such pro produced for all power variations simple delta pi, or reading and folding STS are stored in epsilon R and epsilon F respectively. The result of the proposed state transition sequence extraction are isolated by an example shown in the right figure. Each simple of aggregate power signal P as shown in subfigure A and the ST at reading sequence pointed red is shown in subfigure B. Two change points C1 and C2 are colored by yellow. Then T0 constrains the length of the sequence before C1, while T1 controls the length of the sequence after C2. This is a figure of graph. The black point represents vertices and the lines in blue denotes age. Let G be an undirected graph where V is a set of vertices on the graph. A is a weighted adjacent matrix. The weight AIJ represents the correlation or similarity between vertices VI and VG. The adjacent matrix is usually defined by equation 1. Rho represents to the scoring factors, and DTW dist is the DTW distance between sequences. Let D be a diagonal matrix, L denote the graph Laplacian matrix, S represent graph signal. Then the signal global smoothness can be formulated as equation 2, reflecting the in intri intrinsic structure of the underlying graph. It is believed that the STLS is small. The graph signal S will be generally piecewise smooth. The op optimization problem has a closed form solution, formulated as equation 3. Since each SJ star corresponds to the uh, STS to be a cluster, a fixed threshold Q is used to select candidates. Thus, we grouped the first STS with those with S SJ star bigger than Q into the same cluster when storing them in subsets in CR. After removing such clustered STS from epsilon R, the above-mentioned process is repeated for update epsilon R until no STS is left. Small clusters are merged into large ones for simplifying the further cluster at the matching. Assuming that the nth cluster CRN in CR contains contains JSTS. Thus, for selecting mergeable clusters, we define the magnitude of CRN as equation 4. Then, each small cluster in CR with G smaller J0 is merged into large ones with a closed PRN tube. Eventually, a set CR is obtained as the clustering result of raising STS. Similarly, CR CF can be obtained for folding STS. For matching the clusters of raising STS with those of folding STS, one matching STS, a cluster matching algorithm is proposed. In algorithm 2, alpha and beta are heuristical set trade of vectors of magnitude variation delta pm tilde and duration delta pm tilde after in, in initialization. Magnitude of all clusters in CR and CF are calculated as in line 3. Then, STS matching starts from the CRN with the largest delta PN tilde when selecting a candidate from CF with the least D as in lines 
4216. In less 17 to 18, the paired reading and falling STS are assigned in SKR and SKF, respectively. Well, the unpaired ones are stored in, in additional clusters R and RF in line 19. After performing similar STS matching steps on RR and RF until no remaining STS can be matched, two sets SR and SF are obtained. Third, experimental setup and performance evaluation. For evaluating the new performance, a widely used metric FE score is utilized, defined as follow formula. For validation, experimental are carried out on open access and in AMPDS dataset and British refit dataset, where data is collected from real house and widely used in new works. For AMPDS dataset, simple at one minute, four months date from 1st April 2012 to 31st 2012 is selected in the experiment. Well, a longer period of date, simpled at 6 to 8 seconds, is picked for reference house 2 from 18th September 2013 to 6 April 2014. Ignoring the appliances which are rarely used or consumed low power in the selected period, target appliances for disaggregation. The overall FE score achieved by the proposed method is 0.82 superior to UGSP by 0 0.12 and UGSPDTW by 0 0.05 respectively. We take dishwasher as an example. On one hand, the switching on transit of dishwasher usually lasts for 2 to 3 minutes, which are longer than the sampling period as 1 minute, leading to incompletely detected power changes and inferior state transition events matching results in UGSP. On the other hand, its steady states are short and difficult to be captured in UGSP DDW. However, the better FE score performance of the proposed method is benefited from exacting and matching STS, which contains unique power transit characteristic of this washer. Note that the power consumed by fridge is around 110 watts which is close to those for low power operational states of other appliances, leading to the high FP, where low peer and FP score for UGSP. However, calculating STS similarity based on DW distance and further STS matching in proposed method contribute to FP score improved by 0 0.12, confirming that Information learned from extracted STS in the proposed method supports identifying fridge load against others. For demonstrating the disaggregated energy shares, pie charts are drawn for the new experiment on AMPDS dataset. From this figure, the proposed method performs better than benchmarks for most appliances, consistent with the results shown in previous, previous table. The underestimate power consumption shares of TV for all measures also match their high FN results shown in previous table. Then we move on the new result for house 2 from refit dataset as in these tables. Both UGSP DDW and the proposed method generally outperform UGSP with around 0.1 improvement on FE score by featuring power sequences and DW-based graph age weighting. Note that the proposed method scores higher on TP than UGSP DW does it. Since dishwasher and washing machine operate at similar power ranges, around 2,200 watts and 2,215 watts respectively, the task of disaggregating them is beyond the performance boundaries of UGSP. However, this washer and washing machine differ in operation duration, namely the length of steady state sequence featured in UGSP DDW. Thus, UGSP DDW outperforms UGSP for both this washer and washing machine. Therefore, furthermore, this, this washer takes a longer period to reach a stable power range since being switched on than washing machine does. Therefore, in the proposed method, raising STS of this washer and washing machine can be grouped into various clusters and help refine disaggregation result for both appliances, 
it can be observed that the disaggregation result for television is worse, worse due to frequent and significant power fluctuation prevent all methods from extracting qualified features for good cluster, clustering and matching performance. However, the proposed method is still slightly superior to the others. In all, the new results show that matching with Raising and folding STS contributes to new performance improvement. First, summary. In this paper, an unsupervised GSP based approach is proposed to perform load disaggregation on low rate power measurements. For breaking the performance limitation of the existing unsupervised GSP based new method due to feature selection, STS are extracted and featured in the proposed method. For further clustering and matching, experiments on open access AMPDS and reference datasets shows the proposed method generally outperforms two state of the art benchmarks: UGSP featuring power changes and UGSP DW featuring steady states power sequences. For most applies, the power consumption disaggregated by the proposed method is close to the ground truth, comparing to the benchmarks. Thus, it can be concluded that STS extraction and further matching in the proposed method have improved, improved new performance. That's all. Thank you for your listening.